Hi, and welcome back to SoFlo Dining, South Florida's premier dining blog. I'm Chef Dan. This is Doris with a D. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing. Awesome. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Um, in this episode, we're going to talk to you about El Bayou de Huela Sara, mm -hmm. located in Hollywood. Great. And uh, tell everybody how we found this place. <clears throat> how we found this place. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I've seen this, a review for this somewhere. I can't remember where. And um, it was a video review, uh -huh. and it looked really good. So I had it on our radar um, with a couple other places. Uh, friends of ours came down, Lou and Maria. Mm -hmm. and oh, yeah, they came back from a cruise. They came back from I a cruise. I remember now. They okay. came back from a cruise where they had right. all kinds of food to choose from. <laughs> and Lou said, I want genuine Puerto Rican food. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, you know what? This is the place. Let's give it a shot. We got a place for you. And, and it was on a Monday night. It was too. a Monday night. So it, it was, was hard a... to find places that were open right. on a Monday night. Right. And um, boy, this, this was a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very good shot. Oh, yeah. Um, in fact, uh, the, uh, Lou and Maria came to visit a couple weeks later. And, and guess where we went again? And we went right back again. It, it's that good. It's delicious. Yeah, and we brought friends. Yes, we brought more friends. <laughs> That's yep. right. Yep. What we, was your first impression? First impression, I, um, I really liked it. It was very colorful, very bright, clean. Mm -hmm. um, the table's clean, everything. Everything was just really nice. Very nice. You know, laid back, laid back. Yeah. Yeah, easy. Yeah. Yeah. They had outside seating as well as inside seating. Outside and inside seating. Yeah, right. yeah. <clears throat> so what about the menu options and the variety? Menu options and variety. Okay, there's a lot of variety. There's a lot to choose from here. Mm -hmm. um, you got your beef, pork, chicken, seafood. There's a little bit of everything. Yeah. Um, nothing is really like prominent. There's no like, you know, big thing. So there's a little bit of everything. Mm-hmm. Um, what I can say is a little bit of everything is all good, but, <laughs> <laughs> but good. Well, we started with the uh, appetizers and we had alcapurrias, right. which are Puerto Rican uh, snacks uh, made with grated green bananas yeah. or taro root um, and a com or a combination of both. Right. And they are stuffed with uh, corned beef, picadillo, picadillo which is yeah. seasoned ground beef, crab or chicken, and then they're fried. Right, we had the um, picadillo. Right, and, and that was absolutely delicious. We had that on both visits. Yes, we yeah, did. Yeah. And we also ordered the piononos, which right. are the stuffed plantain cups made with maduros. Right. Um, and seasoned with uh, beef picadillo in this case. Again. And, and they are held together with egg top and topped with, like with a bit of cheese. Again, delicious. <laughs> uh, I mean, two visits within a month and we ordered the same thing. Yeah. You know? That's, a, that's, that's how really good. good. It was really good. Yep. Um, and we ordered mofongos for our uh, oh, for entree. Our, okay. for, our, um, for our entree, we had the mofongo. We had the shrimp mofongo, shrimp and garlic mofongo, mm -hmm. and chicken and garlic mofongo, and a kankan uh, -kan pork chop. Yes. Yeah, which, it's called a um, chuleta kankan. Chuleta kankan, like, chuleta kan -kan, which... Or a kankan -kan chuleta. I don't have props <laughs> here, so I'm sorry. But basically, it's a... You know, a pork chop. So basically, it's a pork chop with the entire rest of the piece it's, of meat there. It's huge. It's huge. Now, you got to see the pictures. It's about, I'd yes. say, close to two feet. Um, the it's, first time I ever saw that. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. And I've lived in Puerto Rico. Basically, so. they call it the tomahawk of pork. So basically, that's what it is. Yeah. And it's, it's really good. Yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. And drinks and service? Drinks and service. Drink some. I think they are wine, beer and wine, mm -hmm. sangria. Yeah. And they have all your sodas. Plus, they have a lot of traditional Latin American sodas. Right. And Malta. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So. Um, what about the uh, flavors, portion sizes? <clears throat> okay, portion sizes. The, um, the pork chop, the first time there was four of us, mm -hmm. we took some home. Yes. The <laughs> second time there was six of us. We took some home. We still took some home. The uh, mofongo comes in a pilon, right? Which is like a almost like a chalice, right? Silver chalice. Um, it's all packed in there. Mm -hmm. um, again, most a lot of it came home. It's just so much. Um, if you look at the on the uh, soflowdining dot com, look at the review. You'll see it, pictures of it, right. or you watch this video. The front and the back, you'll see pictures of the food. 
Um, just <laughs> it's everything, amazing. Is, everything is, is played it beautifully. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just not thrown together. It's very beautiful. Um, and delicious. I mean, really everything is just the flavors, right? Flavors are just off the, off the chart. Yeah. Yeah. And they're, they're all flavors from the island. So that's, that's really beautiful. Yeah. Um, what about the dessert? Dessert. Okay. Um, I'm a traditionalist. I love my flan. So we had the flan and then we had the coconut flan. Mm-hmm. Um, both of them. I, I wouldn't, if I had to pick one to tell you to get, I, I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't. They, they were both delicious. Yeah. They're both delicious. Yeah. Yeah. And you're, you're not that kind of guy either. No, no, no. no. I, I, I like my traditional recipes. Um, as we were talking, we were practicing a, I said a veggie burger is not a burger. But no, it's not. You know, so. It's not. It, but but yeah, I, I really loved both of them. Um, I want to backtrack to the uh, the presentation also. Okay, is a lot of the Latin American food is considered like quote peasant food, you know. So a lot of it, a lot of places you go, it's just right. thrown on a plate, you yeah. know. Yeah. Not here, not here. This this is cuisine. There's okay a reason for it. This is a different. There's a difference here. This is not just thrown together food. This stuff. This is Taino food which is the indigenous people of Puerto Rico. Right, but it's put together by a chef. So yes. that's- Who learned it from his, his Huela Sara. That's right. Just and, go in there, it's all traditional. And you, you know, it's it really is over the top, really good. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, no, it's exquisite. And if you haven't experienced it, maybe you, you should try. You really should. It's, it's different, it's, mm-hmm. it's different food, but it's also very healthy and healthful food, except for the pork chop. Mm. <laughs> mm. What about your recommendations? Recommendations? Uh-huh. One word. What's that? Mofongo. Ooh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, uh, we've had a couple of mofongos. Um, I got to say, this is the best. Uh, fluffy, airy. Um, a lot of the times, the mofongo is just so it's, thick and heavy. Yeah. Uh, for the people who don't know what mofongo is, um, basically, it's a fried banana. They smash it up. They add in uh, some of the pork drippings. Right. It's a green li- banana. Li- yep. Yeah. And then you put in whatever you want. Like, we, yeah. I like the shrimp and garlic. She had the chicken and garlic. No, no. no I like the shrimp and garlic. No, but you had the chicken and garlic. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, there's any variation. Yeah. Um, but we've had it in a couple of places. To me, this so far has been the best. Yeah. Without a doubt. In, and in fact, so that we had, I ordered it again. Yeah. Most people get it with pork chunks. The pork chunk, but yeah. usually the traditional way to prepare it, you mm-hmm. already have the pork chunks right in there in it. So, and again, they're in this. Right. Uh, we've had it in other places where it's not in it, and it's just a bunch of smashed bananas, and it's very thick. And yeah, so and this because it's, it's fried, so you know y- y- it, it tends to be heavy, yeah. but not in this case. In so this case, it's definitely worth trying. I don't know how they make it, but it's light, it's fluffy. Yep. It, it you don't feel stuffed when you finish eating. Yep. It's it's just really fabulous. Um, anything to add? Anything to add? Other than you have to go there. Yeah, you got to go there. <laughs> you you got to go there. Um, and actually, that whole area, that whole downtown Hollywood, just beautiful. It's it's really coming along. It's There's running. so many places to to, to eat there. Um, but but this really is one of the stars on on that area. I believe. Yeah. Yeah, there's, really there's about don't. two or three restaurants that we've gone to over there, and this one really stands out for us. It does. It's the taste. Yeah. It's different. It, it's not what you're expecting. The taste, the you presentation, know? everything. I mean, yeah. you know. We, you, you can't call it a cuchifrito place. I was just going to say, we've gone to cuchifritos, and yeah. again, I mean, you could take the same food mm. and just throw it together, put it on a plate, here you go, a uh, $6 special, uh, you know? Yeah, no. This is... This is created, so yeah, now definitely, Chef definitely got to go, got to try it out. Uh, yeah. Price point, prices are really good, really good. Um, not not expensive at all. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. Chef Iram Ayala um, is the the uh, the, chef, the chef, and it's he was doing this to to uh, memorialize his grandmother Sarah. Yeah. And uh, he's doing a beautiful job. He's doing a great job. Absolutely. He's doing a really good job. And we will be back. <laughs> I mean, we, most of the places we revisit, but never like in a couple of weeks like we did with this one. Yeah. So, yeah. But um, yeah, we, we don't usually do a quick turnaround like that. But no. um, thanks a lot, you know, to, to our friends who came back. 
Yep. And and who wanted to go there too? <laughs> Lou, Danny. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. And as always, enjoy. And I'll see you there. Till then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out one of our many things. One of our many places. SoFloDining.com, yeah. our podcast. Uh, remember, on Facebook, on Mondays, we have a, a series. There are different series we run. Wednesday is the podcast, mm -hmm. and Thursday is the pick of the week, which is always good. And, um, again, it gives you time to get reservations. Oh, yeah. So, Make reservations. Care. Bye. Bye.